Good morning everybody. It's uh, 31st of December today. It's New Year's Eve. Um, it's a, a important day in most people's calendars. Uh, important day to celebrate, uh, particularly with a few drinks. Certainly that's been my practice as long as I can ever remember. Um, today, however, and tonight, is going to be different because uh, I shan't be having a drink. Um, it's probably easier for, for me than maybe others today because generally speaking, we don't really celebrate. We don't really meet anybody, unless my wife and I don't meet our kids or anything like that. Um, they're older, by the way, just in case you didn't know, so they've left home, we don't meet them. So we, there's not, if you like, quite the pressures of, of socialising that there may be um, for other people um, but tonight will be alcohol free for me um, and it'll be a new experience again for me um, just like Christmas was uh, for me this year um, I wanted to reflect briefly on uh, the Christmas period um, and not drinking a little um, maybe this has been similar for you out there maybe it hasn't been um, but for me, again, just like tonight will be, it was a new experience. I can't remember, and I'm not sure I've ever not had a drink at Christmas, ever since I, you know, was, I don't know, maybe 17, 18. That's when I started to, to consume alcohol. So I've had the best part of 40 years having a drink at Christmas. I wanted to sort of reflect a little and just, give my feedback and views and thoughts and experience as to what it felt like at such a big celebration or celebratory time as Christmas because all of us are going to have to face it all of us that make a decision not to drink are going to have to face these social events Christmas being one of the biggest but there'll be plenty of others from birthdays and weddings and meeting up mates at various sports or whatever it may be and and how one deals with it and if I'm honest, I don't know if I, I don't think I had any particular strategy at all. I just, I knew prior to Christmas, my intention wasn't to drink because I wasn't drinking and hadn't been drinking for about, I guess, not far off of what, five months, something like that. And I'd been on a few social events, so, but nothing as big as Christmas, not uh, in terms of what it's normally like for me. And normally it's quite a heavy session. It wasn't that long ago, just, just as this comes to mind, that a few years ago I stopped drinking for about mm, two or three months and then I drank at Christmas Day and I had so much to drink, I basically <laughs> fell asleep. Um, I went upstairs, put my head on the pillow and bang, I was asleep. My wife took a photo of me or a video of me. It was embarrassing. But I was really, I mean, because I had, I suppose my tolerance had gone to some degree, I was absolutely steaming. Uh, you know, I was very, very, very tipsy. But um, that was a that was an event that happened some years ago. And of course, the next couple of days after that, I was back to my normal pattern. Um, this Christmas was different. Um, didn't drink, had non-alcoholic drinks, enjoyed the company, enjoyed being with the people that were important, that I, I love and I care for. And actually, it really wasn't that difficult. I could have, the funny thing is, is I could have easily had a drink and probably really enjoyed it and probably had too much, but I didn't. Uh, but I, equally, I wasn't sort of crawling the walls with anxiety or or, or, or a need, if you like, to, to, to have that drink. I just could have had one and I probably would have enjoyed it, but I didn't take one. I don't know if that's any if that's something any of you sort of out there have experienced where I could have gone either way, but I didn't go the way that historically I would have gone, which was to have some drinks. And I did feel probably a little less, how can I word it? I wouldn't say I enjoyed it less, I just felt different. And and I I've been toying and probably many of you have toyed with this. But as, as time has gone on and I've 
gone through these social events and the biggest one being Christmas and tonight being New Year's, although it shouldn't be too difficult, as I've already alluded to. I've toyed with, what am I going to be in the future? Am I going to be completely a non-drinker? Or am I going to be, go back to my old ways, which was drinking too much? Or am I going to be somebody that can be moderate? Now, I've never had an on-off, a moderation switch. It's either been full on or off mainly full on. So I'm doubtful I can be moderate. But I must admit, I would love to think that I could have, say, Christmas or, or tonight, had a couple of Proseccos, maybe a couple of glasses of wine, which is probably quite a lot, and then stopped. I'm not convinced I can do that, at this point at least. Maybe, maybe I never can. And that's on one side of my thought process. The other side of my thought process is, why would I want to do that? What benefit does alcohol really give me? What? Why do it? And the only conclusion that I can draw to that question is that it, it does change my state of mind, I guess. And it gives me a, I can only put it as a feeling, a comfortable feeling. Um, I guess it, it makes me feel happy. It makes me feel more contented. At least that's what I think it does. And I don't know, and this is part of the, the dis, not the decision making, but the, the thought process I'm having. I don't know if that's all just a veneer, a smoke screen, because, you know, let's face it, my, my brain has been hardwired to associate alcohol consumption with those feelings over many, many years. You know, although I've not been drinking, what, for five odd months, compared to how long I have been drinking, it's not surprising I feel like I get some sort of benefit from alcohol. I still feel like that today. Not that I want to drink right now, I have to say, but I still feel, when at Christmas I felt like that. I just would quite like one, but I'm not desperate for one. So, you know, there's going to come a time when I'm going to, and I don't know when that will be. I don't know if it will be in six months or a year or today. Or I'm going to have to test my theory about could I be a moderate drinker or not. Right now, and one of the reasons I didn't drink at Christmas is because I did want to partake at Christmas. You know, I spoke to my wife and my wife said, no, I think you should continue. Uh, and I, I, you know, I decided that that's probably what I was going to do anyway. But... It, it, I just want to test. Could, could, could I do it? Not sure I can right now. Uh, maybe I need a bit more time, but we'll, we'll have to wait and see. Maybe this is something you guys out there have felt. You know, maybe you've had a period of abstinence and you thought, could I, could I go back? And why would I go back? You know, I never thought to myself I would ever even consider not being a non-drinker ever. But that isn't surprising, bearing in mind bearing in mind I've only ever been a drinker and I've had 40 years of it. So my, my, my whole brain, my subconscious mind must be connected with, you know, lagers and, you know, beers and whatever, and wine and pleasure of some sort. It must be. Now, of course, I suppose it could be hardwired to drinking those things and headaches and sickness and you know, blackouts and fighting and getting into trouble. I've not been one of those people, thankfully, but that doesn't excuse the fact that I needed to make a shift with my relationship with alcohol. So far, I've been successful. Sometimes I wonder how, because I know I am nothing special in this regard. I know that I don't have very strong willpower, but something shifted and five months ago to give me the strength to take the first steps and to continue and I can't really tell you what that is I don't really know I touched on it very very loosely at the start of my video series about my about my wife one day giving me a bit of a mouthful can't even remember what she said but I remember feeling so embarrassed I mean you know, more embarrassed than I've ever felt in my life with her. And I just wonder if that sort of created a new neural pathway and and, and, and challenged my subconscious mind in some way. But something shifted and here we are today. Whether we'll be here in a month's time, six months' time, I just don't know. 
But the most important thing to me was to give you some feedback and thoughts about Christmas, maybe New Year's, and generally, I suppose, a bit of a ramble about what I'm thinking, feeling, to help you on your journey. All I can say to all of you out there, I wish you a happy new year and maybe put the drink down. <laughs>